Reimagining of Baltimore's Inner Harbor is back on track after some technical issues delayed last month's hearing. That meeting was rescheduled to today to vote on zoning changes for the redevelopment project. WMAR 2 News' Kara Burnett joins us live with more. Kara, what'd you find out? Well, the meeting that started around 3.30 is still going on. So the public testimony just came to a close, but now the committee is in discussion before they vote on the zoning recommendations for the Inner Harbor development. So this meeting is solely, solely to discuss land use, not design. So building height restrictions, approval to expand private and public space. If the plan meets residential and commercial parking requirements, the developer, the developer MCB Real Estate is looking to replace the pavilions with a luxury residential complex that will include a park, stores, and restaurants. They say this plan will increase public space by 4.8 acres. Pratt and Light Streets would also be redesigned. Light Street would be narrowed by, for traffic, adding space for pedestrians and cyclists. They did clarify in the meeting that there is no plan to develop south of Conway Street. Now the proposal has sparked mixed reactions. One woman says there's too many rental units and not enough charm, while another calls the redevelopment a new beginning. The most important corner in the state of Maryland, not Baltimore, the state of Maryland. I think we're playing fast and loose with one developer. To have something like this, to be on the water, to be connected to my ancestors in such a way, to have my mother, my grandmother, my children, my husband stand beside me and say, our name is on this building. The developer wants me to succeed. Now this is still in its early phases from here after the approval or whatever they decide, that will go over to city council and then we can expect several more public hearings. From now reporting live from downtown, Cara Burnett, WMAR 2 News. All right, thanks a lot, Cara. We're gonna take an in-focused look now at the aims of the Harbor Place redevelopment as part of our commitment to give you the bigger picture of the story. According to the Our Harbor Place website, the vision of the redevelopment includes building for economic sustainability, embracing the connectivity with the water, making Harbor Place accessible, keeping it local, designing it for resilience, making it safe, and welcoming and building it equitably. Developers have been engaging the community to get your input, and you can still send them your feedback. We'll have a link to their feedback page in this story on our website.